Frost. It's a cold, frosty morning in the forest of Glengarriff near the end of 1602. Seeking a moment of quiet, a man looks towards the heavens for divine intervention. The impossible decision he is about to undertake will have massive ramifications for him and his people. Little does he know that the path he takes will go down as one of the greatest epic stories in Irish history. For now, however, he desperately sends prayers upwards, for he knows the journey ahead will be perilous and may ultimately deliver annihilation for him and his people. Amen. This is part two of the history of the Barra Brefney Way hiking trail. To watch part one, click the icon in the top corner. As the charred remains of Dunboy smouldered in 1602, George Carew, feeling victory had been achieved and the rebels sufficiently crippled, set sail, leaving a detachment of men to mop up the rest of the resistance in the Berra Peninsula. However, with his craic, the main head of cattle, which was a chieftain's wealth for millennia in Ireland, still intact, a significant amount of Spanish gold, and 1,000 hardened soldiers, Donald Campbell Sullivan Bear was still able to offer up dogged resistance. O'Sullivan Bear began a campaign of guerrilla warfare with lightning attacks in the form of flying columns. This garnered considerable success in Munster as he managed to capture a number of castles, gaining allies in the process. Most notably, the McCarthy's. As autumn rolled on, the initial successes coupled with rumours of Spanish ships started to kindle a resurgence of uprising. All that came crashing down, however, as news of the sudden death of the important Gaelic leader, Hugh O'Donnell, rippled throughout Ireland. This critical blow saw his allies in Munster switch allegiance to Queen Elizabeth and effectively end the uprising. Not only this, but the Crown's forces were now bolstered with an extra 1,000 men from Charles Wilmot, who was campaigning in Kerry. With little to no support in Munster, and no Spanish on the way, Donald Cam O'Sullivan Bear was now in a very precarious position. As winter of 1602 took hold, Wilmot set up his camp in the woods near Glengariff. Amazingly, the thick woods at the time meant that he did not realise that O'Sullivan was camped a mere three miles away. On learning this, Wilmot readied his men for an attack, and sometime in late December, he unleashed his fury. Whether or not Wilmot managed to surprise Donald Cam is not known, but given the battle lasted six hours long, it is doubtful. The fighting was fierce as musket shot both sides and bitter combat commenced as the Crown's forces tried to probe a way through. At some point in the battle, Wilmot's men broke through and managed to capture the vitally important player. Desperately, the Gaelic defenders tried to stop this by intensifying the fighting. However, they were unable to stop Wilmot seizing 2,000 cows and 4,000 sheep. Both sides had sustained heavy casualties, but for Wilmot, it was worth it as he now deprived O'Sullivan Bear of all rations and hope in the middle of winter. Licking their wounds in the aftermath of the battle, things looked very bleak for the Gaelic forces. Now reduced to 400 men at arms, O'Sullivan Bear did not have the means nor the food to survive. An impossible decision had to be made. Fight and they would be annihilated, or surrender and they would all be executed. And so with these horrendous choices, he made a bold and daring third option. On a cold New Year's Eve in 1602, O'Sullivan Bear and 1,000 of his people, under the cover of darkness, slipped away into the night. With only one day rations, 
in the middle of a harsh winter and over 300 miles of marching through hostile territory plus a 300 pound bounty on his head, Donald Cam began his audacious bid for survival towards the O'Neill lands in the north. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, and you fancy buying me a pint or a coffee for my efforts, well now you can with my Kofi page. Just click the link in the description below. Supporters get early access to my videos and exclusive content. And a massive thank you to all my Kofi supporters. Your support helps immensely keep this channel going. I'd like to give a shout out to Ellie Berry, Ted Burke, Trisha McBride, Tara Clark, Chris Rocky McGrath, Patrick Devaney, Alil Angus O'Murhum, Orna and Klaus. Thank you all so much. Don't forget to hit the like button in this video and subscribe. You can also catch me on my social media channels. Thank you again for watching. Take care and goodbye.